him have talked about the human rights abuses well, in, yeah, in China. That, so, so, so you know, the, sorry, the, just, the US just to say. Always, excuse me for one moment. The U.S. always attacks other countries. It holds itself sacrosanct. It's really outrageous. Welcome to Tunacheki's Africa React. I'm your host, Mikey Mushi, and this is a show where we go online and react to viral videos that are concerning the African continent. Uh, before we start, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch our latest videos. The Biden administration has been strongly critical of China's actions on human rights, but engaging on climate change. Do you see that as a strategy that can actually work? I'm not sure why BBC started with listing uh, only China's uh, human rights abuses. What about America's human rights abuses? Uh, the Iraq war, together with the UK, completely illegal and under false pretenses. Uh, the uh, war in Syria, the war in Libya, uh, the continued sanctions against civilian populations in Venezuela and Iran, walking away from the Paris Climate Agreement for the last four years. Unilateral trade actions that have been deemed illegal by WTO. So one can make anything one wants, but we have uh, really serious human rights violations by the United States abroad, not to mention the continued massive racism, white supremacism, and abuse of incarceration of hundreds of thousands of people in the US black uh, African-American people of color. So I think that the whole premise of this story is a little bit odd. No, but sorry, uh, and, uh, I'm looking, I, and, sorry, and, and, we, we and have I to just, look, if I may, we I have found to look the, at... I found, I found the framing of it not what I expected. I thought we were going to talk about climate change, which we should. But I think that the idea that there is one party that is so guilty, how can we talk to them, is just a strange way to address this issue. Well, hang on. I'm we have uh, United, sorry, Jeffrey. We have Jeffrey, States, if we have I could a, come, US Jeffrey, that has been, US I'm hoping that has we can have a conversation. I'm hoping we can have a conversation about the human rights abuses well, in, yeah, in China. The, so, 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 you know, the, sorry, the, just, the US just to say. Always, excuse me for one moment. The U.S. always attacks other countries. It holds itself sacrosanct. It's really outrageous because I know what goes on in American foreign policy. And I know how abusive it is. And I know what it's like to live in a racist society, which I happen to do, where a significant part of this country is racist, followed a racist president who led an insurrection on the Capitol. And so the framing of this issue is strange. That's what, what I'm saying. What, by your own, believe, by your own country as well as the, the rest I of the world? I believe by the government not by my own country, by the government of my country. Yeah, uh, that was uh, the clip you are reacting to. So if you work for a BBC, if you work for a CNN, if you work for a Daily Show, or MSNBC, like anything that's Western media mainstream, right, controlled by the Maddox or this uh, white supremacist, right, you are a slave. You have to stick to the script. You can't speak out your mind. They are called talking points. You have to mention the talking points you stick to the talking points regardless of your feelings, right? That's why uh, Don Lemon, I think uh, he got fired, right? CNN is now starting to become uh, right. And uh, Fox News also fired uh, that other uh, guy. I, I, I forget his name because he was being too, you know, unhinged, uh, like uh, just saying, you know, he might by mistake tell the truth, right? So Western media doesn't want that. They don't want the people in front of your screens talking the truth, telling their honest opinions, right? That's why you have to check it. You're, you're a bunch of hypocrites. Everybody in Western media, all of you, all of you, regardless of where your heart is, hypocrites, <laughs> right? Uh, so, yeah, uh, that was our quick reaction. Uh, you know, these reactions are our, our personal opinions, right? Uh, please let us know in the comments below what you think about uh, that clip. So, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Please uh, share, like this video. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Definitely really helps us out. Yeah, thank you to our members, our Patreons, and uh, anybody who donates us, buys our merch. We really appreciate you guys. You know, it's the small things, but it really helps out. So with that said, uh, this has been Mikey Mushi from Tuna Cheki. And always remember, Africa is watching.